Hello and a very warm welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, yes, it's here. This is the Genos 2, the brand new flagship arranger keyboard from Yamaha. And today we are going to play it for the very first time. And I'll give you a demo of some of the new features. Yes, I'm very enthusiastic and excited about this, as you can probably hear. So this time we'll skip the unboxing actually, and you might be wondering why? Well, it's because this is not actually a brand new unit. It's been doing the rounds, a tour of Scandinavia, doing demos for the distributors, retailers, and some customers as well. So there was no point really unboxing a slightly used keyboard in my opinion. I do want to disclose before we get started that I do have friends at Yamaha. I'm a so-called synthfluencer, I guess, hate that term but this is on loan to me at no charge to myself. So keep that in mind. I want to be as transparent and honest with you as possible. So we're all on the same page. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I hope the camera angle is okay for you today. We will set up an overhead camera and stuff like that in a separate video. But for today, just to cover the introduction and the basics about what I'm doing, I thought this would be fine. So in case you were curious, in that first performance there then, I was using a style called Throwback Pop. And I think this is actually supposed to be used for playing Take On Me by AHA. But what I did was dial down a lot of the sounds. So we get something like this. Maybe I added some drums. amazing I think absolutely lovely great sounds and great effects what I was doing there was stepping through the four variations for this throwback pop style yeah what I didn't mention if you didn't know what an arranger does it basically is a bit like a backing band that you conduct in real time the keyboard senses what chords you're playing in the left hand and then you can choose a genre and it will give you a backing accompaniment as you play normally you'll be playing some kind of solo or melody line with your right hand and the chords with your left, like this. Trigger it to start. And the first variation is normally the least busy and then it builds up in complexity. And you can use these different variations for different parts of the songs, verses and chorus and stuff. Let's just take a listen to the instruments that I've muted to see what they sound like. Let's go for the second variation. Drums. Bass. Arpeggio. Wow. <laughs> wow, 
We have new brass sounds, both horn sections and solo sounds, like this amazing flugel horn. You can hear that amazing new reverb as well. Sounds really lush, but uh, again, let me play something for you. Let me demonstrate the new dynamics control with this style here, a very funky soulful style, and I'll play you the introduction. That's another feature of these arrangers. You get three different intros and outros to choose from. This is outro two, or intro two. So the dynamics control, yeah, that was cool, wasn't it? The dynamics control is mapped here to a dedicated rotary encoder. And you can see by the LEDs what position it's on. Let's put it somewhere in the middle. And then as we dial this back, you should be able to hear the sound of the instruments playing more softly. This control is actually adjusting the dynamics or the velocity. Yes, the velocity of the style. It sounds a little bit like the volume, but it's not really the volume, it's the velocity, so it's affecting also the, like the timbre. The, uh, you'll hear it's getting a bit duller as we turn it down. Let me just uh, show it for you. Let's get that intro again. Let's try intro three and we'll come into the main variation here. Here we go. Crank it up. Back it off. You hear that? So a pretty subtle effect, but I quite like dialing it all the way down to soft. But the idea is you can change this over the course of a performance to add some intensity to the track as it develops. Let's talk about the drum ambience. And to use that, we're gonna demonstrate this excellent style. I'm sure you're gonna recognize this. Uh, let's play an F minus seven with intro two. Here we go. interesting to hear the instruments in isolation. Nice stereo effect. Now, to demonstrate the ambient drums, I think they're called, we're gonna play around with the dynamics control again and this knob here, which adjusts the balance of the close microphones and the room microphones at the back of the studio where they recorded and sampled these drum kits. So let's just take a listen to the drums, and see how it sounds. We can adjust the dynamics. 
and I'm going to turn off the reverb effect so we can really hear it. Dynamics really effective. Okay, that's close mic'd. Let's go to the back of the room. What an amazing drum pattern. Back of the room. Back to close mic'd. And anywhere in between. In between, it's pretty nice. Yeah, just astonishingly good drum sounds, I'm sure you will agree. We have this superb brand new classical nylon open sound. Take a listen to this with some of the articulations to make it sound more realistic. Sometimes it can be a bit too much, but you can control it as you're playing, also with the buttons on the left. Let me play something for you. Now, you might think that these keyboards play themselves, which is true to a certain extent, but they are extremely difficult, I think, to play well. And some of the performances that I've done on this video do leave a little bit to be desired, but it takes a bit of practice. You have to do a special left-hand technique that I'm not particularly used to when you're fingering the chords, and also when you're changing song sections, changing sounds and so on, there's a heck of a lot of things that you need to do in a split second. And often when you come back into the chorus or whatever in the song, in my case, I find I've kind of fluffed the chords by that time or got the timing wrong. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna release a separate video with all the bloopers. Believe me, there were very many of them. It was quite a lot of takes to get those performances as uh, good as they were. We have a selection of new pianos as well. Today I just want to focus on one of them, which is the felt piano, which sounds like this. Wow, some nice character there, right? Beautiful. Felt pianos, if you don't know, there's a strip of felt between the hammers and the strings, usually on an upright piano. This is all the rage in modern uh, dance music. I hear this all the time in EDM and house music, but of course it's most well known for cinematic sounds, movie soundtracks and TV shows and so on. Again, let me play a little tune for you.
we get a whole lot of new string sounds. Philharmonic. Cinematic. Philharmonic slow. That's very dark. Beautiful. Again, let me play something for you. I'm going to use this cinematic layer, which I think is a blend of the new strings and some of the new brass, the new... Here's a little tune using those sounds. Yamaha are making a big thing about the new reverb that's used all over the place on this keyboard in the solo sounds and in the instrument parts, in the styles. It's called Revelation and they've taken it from uh, Steinberg, who Yamaha own. Steinberg, as you may know, do the Cubase DAW and the Halion VST sampler. This Revelation reverb is part of that product suite. But now over here on the Genos, I've got some concert tutti, whatever that means, strange name, but uh, probably some orchestral term. It sounds like this. I'll just take a listen to the reverb tail. Pretty nice. This is on the cathedral setting and I've cranked up the reverb as much as I want to actually. But you have full control over all of the effects, the, uh, the depth, the reverb type, which model it's using, um, and uh, pre-delay, things like this. All of the features you would need in a reverb, but this is what it sounds like, a very rich modulated reverb there, very nice. By the way, if you're interested, I've done dozens of videos about the top of the line PSR arranger keyboards and also some arrangers from Korg. So check out my back catalogue if that's something you want to watch. Of course, the DX7 piano sounds really benefit from that revelation reverb as well. You know what? DX7 has been a huge part of this channel. It's a synthesizer I love, and I know many of my viewers love the DX7 and the FM synthesis as well, and I think that is worthy of a separate video because this Genos 2 now includes the sound engine from the DX7 with a whole bunch of enhancements. Um, so that will be covered, I think, in a separate video coming up soon when I've figured it out myself. Indeed, as you may have noticed, Yamaha have also hooked me up with the Geonos speaker system here. So if you want, I'll do a separate review of this as well, because I think it's very interesting in many ways, and you're probably curious how it sounds here in my living room. So stay tuned for that video coming up.
You know what? I think that will wrap it up for today. There are many more features left to demonstrate and cover, and we'll touch on those in the upcoming videos, I think. So now is a good time to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thank you so much if you have. I'll see you again next time. Cheerio.